I decided to wear my toucan shirt because like it kind of matches this. I mean, not really, but like kind of, you know? Oh yeah, by the way, for all of y'all that care, toucans are my favorite animals, so yeah. But anyways, hey guys, so today we're gonna be doing kind of a weird video. I don't know, I just kind of like came up with this idea out of nowhere, and that's trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. Now, I think like maybe seven years ago, I like actually knew how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Like I just like took the time out of my day and just started memorizing how to do it for a week, and then I knew how to do it. Literally everyone in school was so shook. I was so popular because everyone just was like what the heck you know how to solve a rubik's cube and i was like yeah i do but those times were a long time ago and your boy doesn't know how to solve a rubik's cube anymore i mean even back then it took me like five minutes to solve it which is kind of bad like that's a long time but i knew how to do it so that's all that matters but yeah it's been like seven years since i touched this thing it's just been like sitting on my desk and i don't know i've just kind of been using it as like a thing to make people think i'm smart because i have a solved rubik's cube sitting on my desk when i'm actually like really not you know test season is starting real soon like all of my friends have tests next week but i don't have any tests until the week after which which I don't know how it happened, but I'm not complaining. So this weekend, I'm just like sitting here with literally nothing to do because all my friends are studying and doing homework, which I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, but hello, I'm bored. So I'm just sitting there on my desk and obviously I have this on my desk to trick people into thinking I'm smart. And I'm just looking at it, I'm like, Maybe I should learn how to do this again. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I thought that would be a fun video, just like trying to take y'all through the process of me trying to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube again. I guess we just gotta get straight into the video. Okay, so the first step obviously is to mix it up, which I'm kind of hesitant to do because once I do it, there's no going back. But I guess let's just do it, so. mixed up enough so how am i supposed to do this i literally don't even know what to do i see there are like four red squares so maybe i should like do something with that um i honestly don't know what i'm doing how do people do this are you kidding me now there's like a green stripe i don't know oh my You know, maybe I should have like thought through this video before I started recording it. Okay, I give up. I literally don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna try and look up a tutorial online and just follow that, which I mean is kind of going against trying to figure out how to solve it, but I'm still gonna solve it. If you want, just leave me some hate comments, but I'm probably not gonna read them, so don't waste your time. Thanks. Okay, so I got my iPad here and we're just gonna look up how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Let's just go with the first link. It's how to solve a rubik's cube.com i mean that sounds like it should work right i mean it's kind of in the name so wait okay i feel so much better about myself look it literally says don't worry this is not cheating 99.9% .9 can't solve the rubik's cube without help so I'm not cheating for your information, so if you left a hate comment about that, your hate comment is irrelevant. Wait, this actually seems like it could be easy. It says the first step is to solve the white colors, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we start by solving the white edge pieces. So what you have to do is just get all like the, like here we already have three, and you wanna get the other diamond pieces here. So how you do that is you just like find it, and then you like twist it until you get it there. And then there's one more white thingy. It's right here. So how do we get that over there? So like you move it there and then you <gasps> Yes, okay, we're making progress. Yes! So now what do we have to do? 
We have to get the corners. Okay, so how do we do the corners? Oh wait, no, the corners aren't first. You have to match the colors of the white things. So like, if you have a white thing here, and then you have a blue, you have to match it to the blue center. So the blue center is right here, so we're just gonna twist it. See, okay, the white matches with the blue. Oh look, and then the orange matches with the orange. But then, shoot, we have a problem already. Oh my gosh. So the green is with the red, and the red is with the green, but like these two are perfect, so like I don't know how to move them so that they're like matching. Wait, I actually figured it out. Okay, so you have to turn this like that, and then you turn it like that, and then you do that, and then you do that, and then you do that. And then you have the red and the green. Did that make any sense? Like, <laughs> oh my god. If you're trying to actually watch this as a tutorial, I don't know if it's gonna get you anywhere. Okay, next step. We have to get the white corners. Oh my gosh, okay, there's like a bunch of letters. What does this even mean? Okay, there are like a bunch of letters here and I literally don't understand what I mean. Did I miss something? Like, hold on, let me scroll back up. Oh, okay. There's this whole thing on notation that I just skipped. So this is all like letters. So there's F, R, U, and L. So F means front. So you're gonna rotate the front clockwise. Yeah, clockwise. R means right. So you're gonna turn the right one clockwise. Is that the right one? No, that's the left one. Okay, right one. Actually, I don't even know. Okay, whichever one the right one is, you're gonna turn that one clockwise. And L means left, so that's gonna be the left one, whichever that one is on your screen, I don't know. And then up means the up face, so like the top. So you're gonna turn that. And then there's like apostrophes, which mean the other way, so like, F apostrophe means you go counterclockwise. Okay, so now we can go to the corners. This actually might be way easier than I thought. Like, you literally just have to follow the letters. So the first corner I'm gonna do is like, okay, this corner has white, red, and blue, which means we wanna put it right here where it's in between the whites, the reds, and the blues. So how do you do that? I think we do this one. So this one says F, D, F apostrophe. So you just gotta do that. So how do you do that again? Okay, F means front, so... I think we turn this one, F, and then right, you turn the right one, so right, and then front backwards. I think I broke it, like it didn't even work, hold on, can I reverse that? Oh my gosh, you've gotta be kidding, I literally broke it. Man, this is gonna be a rough video, I can't even get the one side complete. Maybe this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. So we got the blue and the red, and we're trying to get it in the blue and the red. So, okay, so F, oh, it's not FRF, -F, it's FDF, -F. so we turn that, then we turn the bottom one, and then we turn this back. Okay, but that literally still didn't work. Okay, F, D, F. Oh my gosh, okay, it actually works. See, we got the corner in between the red and the blue and the white. So we just gotta repeat that three more times. I just realized how long this is gonna take. Like, I'm sorry if this video is like 20 minutes. I mean, probably no one's gonna watch if it's 20 minutes, so I'm probably just gonna cut out a lot of stuff. So you know what? I'm gonna cut back to when I finish these three corners. Okay, I'm finally back. Oh my gosh. I literally messed up three times trying to get these last three corners and I have to start over each time. But I finally got it, okay? We got the white. That actually looks so good. Like, I can just make my thumbnail look like this and end the video right here and all of y'all would think that I actually solved it. But we're gonna try and stick to the end. So I got all the corners. Now we get to move on to the next step. Hopefully this step is way easier because I'm not about to redo this front face like 20 more times. Okay, the next step is called the second layer. So what we're trying to do is fill in these corners. So like we need to get the red and the green corner to be here. Oh, okay, so we just do more letters. So here's the diagram. So if you have this, which is like, you wanna get the thing to the right side or no? 
you want to get the thing to the left side, you do U dash L dash U L U F U dash F dash. But if you have this thing and you want to make it go to the right side, then you do U R U dash R dash U dash F dash U F. This is like some foreign language, like, um, I need to take three years of this language class in high school before I understand it. Anyways, let's just try. So let's try and find the first thing to do. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. So as you can see in the thing, they were like, you get the piece, which is like green and orange, and ours is going to the right side okay so we want to take this and move it to the right over here <sighs> i swear if i mess this up i'm just like gonna quit the video <laughs> Gosh. we turn it up and then r so you do the right side and then u dash which is u backwards then r dash which is r backwards and then u dash which is u backwards f dash which is f backwards like that and then u which is up and f which is like that oh my gosh i actually got it do you see that i literally don't know what i just did i just like followed these letters but i actually got it guys <laughs> I actually did it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the first two layers are complete. I never thought I would be at this point in my life. Like, this is probably one of my biggest moments in my life. The crazy thing is, believe it or not, y'all are probably not going to believe me. I finished this without messing up. Yeah, I know. So now I guess let's move on to the next step, which I'm probably guessing is the third layer, because we got the other two layers done, so like... The third layer is the only thing left. Oh wait, actually I'm wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're not doing the third layer yet. We have to do the yellow stuff. Number four, the top cross. Oh, okay. So what we're trying to do is get the yellow cross, kind of like we had the white cross when we first started. What you have to do is, oh, okay. So basically wherever you're at, you just follow the sequence until you get to the cross. F, R, U, R dash, U dash, F dash. F, R, U, R dash, U dash, F dash. Okay, so now we have the line and I think if we do it one more time, we'll have the cross. F, R, U, R dash, U dash, F dash. We got it. Wow, I think we're almost there. Literally, we almost have this and then we finish this and we're done. So now we're trying to match up the yellow with the colors. So like, we already have two done. So we have the yellow with the green and then we have the yellow with the orange, but we need to switch these two to make the blue go to the blue and the red go to the red. To sort this out, we use an algorithm which swaps the front and the left. So we have to orient it to the front and the left. So this is the front and this is the left, and we're gonna switch these two. R, U, R dash, U, R, U, U, R dash, U. I'm still not over this crazy language. Okay, so this is the front and we're gonna do R, U, R dash, U, R, U, U, R, U. Oh, it actually worked. Oh my gosh, we're at the final step. It's just figuring out these corners. <gasps> Guys, we're so close. I can't believe I'm almost there. So for the corners, what it says is you just follow this algorithm until it works. So you just got to keep on doing it as many times as possible until it finally works. So for mine, I already have the red and blue corner, but all the other three corners are wrong. So I guess let's just keep doing it until it works. So the first thing is U, R, U dash, L dash, U, R dash, U dash L. I don't know if that did anything because the other three are still wrong. Oh, it actually worked. Okay, now we have the green and red with green and red. Orange and red, that's not orange. Am I colorblind? Blue and red with blue and red. And then orange with blue with orange and blue. And green with orange with green and orange. Okay, is this the last thing? Oh, so this is similar to the yellow step where you just follow this algorithm until it works. Like it doesn't have a concrete number of steps. So it's 
r dash d dash r d and you just keep doing that until the corner kind of like turns r dash d r d oh my gosh did i just mess it up maybe i just have to keep doing it okay oh my gosh if i mess this up i'm gonna be so mad it's getting worse. Oh no. <gasps> Wait, okay. Thank goodness. I was literally about to have a heart attack. It actually turned it once. Like, I think I did it like six times and it finally went back to normal. <sighs> if I had to do that again, I would have probably cried and deleted this video. But let's not talk about that. Let's just keep going. R dash D dash R D. What the heck? It's still in the same position. Maybe you just have to do it again. Okay. R dash D dash R D. R dash D dash R D. Oh my gosh. It's literally still in the same spot. I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? Oh. Okay. Ignore everything I just said for that last part. Oh, okay. So you're supposed to do the R dash D dash R D thing. But whenever you get it in the right position, you have to turn the up one once. So like, okay. So you see how it's like the yellow is here, but it should be here. So you do R dash D dash R D. 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 Okay, and now it's in the right position, but like the rest of it is messed up. But what you do is you move the up one, one over, and then you do it for the next one. So now you have to move this corner until it goes to the top. R dash D dash R D. <gasps> okay, so now this one works, and now you move one more up, and then you do the last one. Okay, R dash D dash R D. R dash D dash R D. R dash D dash R D. R dash D dash R. I just did it. Look, okay. Orange, green, red, blue, yellow, white. That was actually way easier than I thought. I guess we end the video here because I mean, I did it. So I'll link down this website in the description because honestly, this website is so easy to follow. Like I actually freaking solved a Rubik's cube. Are you kidding me? Now I can actually stunt on all these hoes and be like, I actually know how to solve it. It doesn't just sit on my desk. So yeah, I don't know. I guess subscribe i mean you should subscribe because i just saw the freaking rubik's cube if that's not a qualification for a subscription then i don't know what is and i don't know comment whatever you want actually comment down some video ideas like what do you want to see because i literally don't know what to do this was like my only idea and i don't know what i'm doing next week so and i don't know i guess that's it definitely like the video and i'll see you next week so peace